Good morning, YouTube. Beautiful Saturday morning here. It's almost 50 degrees in the garage, and I haven't had the heat on. It actually says uh, 49. So, it's actually getting warmer. It's a lot better than the 10 degree weather we've been having. But I just want to give you guys an update on the go-kart and possibly another one. Another go-kart or maybe the pit bike build. I'm not really sure yet. But <clears throat> here's what I've done so far. I went and got a light bar from Walmart. It was like 20 bucks. I said, why not? And it's actually really freaking bright. <clears throat> so I mounted, got that mounted up here. I haven't ran the wires yet. I just set this battery up here to test, see how bright it was. And I took and <clears throat> done a few wires under here. So the only thing I'm going to have working, I'm going to actually re cut out a new piece and redo this part. And the only thing that's going to work is a kill switch. And then I'm going to put a toggle on here for the light bar. And I'm going to put the battery on it just in case. So I can switch it over because I'm going to end up um, putting in here, which if you look, we got a brand new Predator motor and the little Craftsman sitting over there. I decided to get one of these because it's a three quarter inch shaft instead of trying to find a torque converter to fit that one. We just went ahead and got this and I've already done a couple mods on it. I took the governor off. And put another spring on that so it's extra springy and I took the oil sensor out because I guess for an off-road go-kart the oil sensor if you start going up a hill it's gonna kill it because it senses there's no oil back there and the boys are gonna be riding this around the track and there's up and down hills so I didn't want them to be going around and to die on it. so that's what we got so far so we're still waiting on the torque converter for this thing so then we can get it all molded or bolted down and ready to go and hopefully hopefully this thing's gonna be pretty fast uh, the predator motor by itself is fast but with the governor taking off you're gonna go from 3500 rpms to almost 5000 so you're gonna be able to rev a little higher and with the torque converter you're definitely gonna have enough to I mean just sit there and spin donuts if you wanted to but Yesterday when I got home, I got a package in the mail for the pit bike. So, we're kind of still waiting on parts for that. Still haven't got the torque converters. The package is in like Missouri or something like that. But, I pulled this thing out because over here, we got the whole 143 kit. We got the gasket. We got the head gasket. We got the throttle cable. We got a new, I uh, can't really see it, but new 26 millimeter card, Makuni card. We got the piston rings. We got the air filter in this one. In here, we got the uh, cylinder head. thing's gonna be sick and here we got the new uh, intake kit a couple bolts so basically <clears throat> I have to take all the plastics off and I'm gonna actually clean the bike we'll be getting rid of this choke because the Makini car has a choke built into it so we won't need that anymore and then we'll just take that cable off and ground it to the frame and then I'm going to order a new fender. I'm gonna get a black fender because this one's busted. My uh, zip tie job didn't really work that well, but I'm gonna keep it just for a spare because it's always nice just to have a spare, just in case. You never know. Maybe that new one will. I'll do a wheelie and it just rips right off. And I'm also gonna get a black front fender, so the whole thing's gonna be black and white. I think it looks sick with a graphics kit, but who knows? I haven't got that far yet. We're just going to. Uh, basically get it going get it running and we'll see what happens but that's all i want to do just give you guys an update on the go-kart we're still waiting for parts and an update on the pit bike just got the parts in 
and that video is definitely coming soon so stay tuned for more videos of the go-kart possibly another go-kart over here not sure yet gonna go look at one today and obviously the 143 kit on the pit bike this thing already rips but it's definitely gonna rip and the only uh, i forgot to mention the only reason i'm rebuilding it is because it needs new rings it smokes like a freight train and it's just losing a lot of power and it just needs rebuilt and i figured why not parts are cheap and we'll try doing it ourselves and save even more money so there's a little update for you guys so make sure you go down below hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and definitely stay tuned for more action.